Hello. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss about heap sort. Uh, this sorting algorithm uh, uses a technique uh, known as transform and conquer. So the idea is it uh, transforms the given unsorted uh, list into an instance instance called uh, heap. It's an intermediate data structure used in the algorithm and then uh, sorts it. So at this level, it looks really simple as just two stages. The first stage is uh, heap, heap construction. And in the second stage, we apply a method called maximum uh, key deletion n minus one times. Every time uh, uh, the maximum element of the of the heap is is taken out and then placed in its final position, uh, that way uh, applying it for n minus one times uh, creates the heap uh, creates the sorted list itself. Let's see the algorithm in little detail. Uh, so even at the high level, the algorithm looks obviously very simple because of the two stages. The first stage creates the heap, and in the second stage, uh, we uh, delete the maximum key of the heap uh, for n minus one times. So, to st uh, when we start with in the first iteration, the heap is of size n, one to n in this case, uh, and the root uh, root always has the largest element of the heap. That is swapped with the last element, and uh, and and then heap is reconstructed back with n minus one elements and and then with i is equal to n minus one, we are going to repeat the same process. So after doing it for n minus one times, we'll uh, the array h will have the sorted uh, the sorted array. Uh, let's see each of these in little detail here. Uh, so heap bottom up uh, is basically create constructing the heap. Uh, so this is just a base case uh, to uh, to take out a a, a, next, a, a boundary condition when uh, n is less than or equal to one. Mm, otherwise, uh, when n is greater than one, so we are using in, the, in this bottom-up approach. We are we are we always start with uh, the last non-leaf uh, node in in the in the tree. Uh, so n by uh, root floor of n by two is uh, is always pointing to the to the last uh, last such uh, node. Uh, so from then on, we look we try to uh, heapify the subtree rooted at uh, at, at index i. Uh, so this method heapify should should do that, and uh, we keep doing it in, in the reverse order from n by two uh, down to one. So when we do it for one, which is the root itself, the whole uh, tree would be a heap. Right. Whenever we are processing the beginning for for uh, i, uh, uh, the for the subtree rooted at i, uh, both the children left and right children of uh, left and right subtrees of uh, of the tree starting at i uh, are already heaps. So all we need to do is uh, the root node needs to be uh, pushed down or trickled down as much as possible so that it becomes uh, uh, the whole thing becomes a heap. All right. So uh, now uh, there is another method here, uh, max key delete. So max key delete works for a heap. Uh, take up a heap and uh, uh, the root always has the largest element of the heap swap it with the last one which is hn and uh, and then uh, reduce the heap size by one so now the new heap is only from one to n minus one in this case because of the swap here the first element could be uh, violating the heap property uh, by applying this heapify method again we uh, will make sure the uh, the heap from one to n elements is the array from one to element elements one to n minus one elements is a heap now we are using this heap five method in two places, and uh, both in both stages actually. Uh, in a heap bottom up also we use it uh, roughly about n by two times, and in the second stage we use it for uh, in, in every time here. So it's it's uh, used it for it is used for about n minus one times. So it's a basically a key method in 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 this whole sorting algorithm. Let's see how does it work. Uh, heap bottom up. This is just repeated from the previous slide. Uh, so heapify method uh, basically takes uh, the whole uh, yeah, whole array from one to n, and uh, it, what it is asking is um, make sure uh, the uh, the subtree the binary subtree uh, rooted at k is a heap. Uh, but all we are assuming here is uh, both the left and right subtrees uh, of the tree rooted at k are already heaps. Only the uh, the node at k could be violating the heap property, so we just need to push uh, that that particular uh, key 
uh, as much as possible uh, so that we it will be it will be uh, it will make the whole thing as a heap uh, so in the first condition we are making sure uh, the node at k is already a, a leaf or not if it is a leaf we are leaf we are done because a leaf itself is a heap already so this condition makes sure of that if 2k uh, is good more than n that means k is already a leaf otherwise uh, uh, j is is referencing to the left child of the k uh, that is a 2k and uh, if there is a right child to that so this condition checks whether there is a right child to that j plus 1 would be the right child if there is one if that is within the boundary of n boundary of array uh, then there is a right child to it uh, so if there is a right child and if that right child hap happens to be uh, larger than uh, the left child j will point to the right child so uh, when we come here uh, at this stage uh, j is referencing to the larger child uh, so now uh, uh, if larger child is greater than uh, the key at k itself then uh, it's not satisfying the heap property so we need to swap it when we swap now uh, the parent which is at k will be will have the larger one and the child will have the smaller one now uh, we are not at sure whether the subtree uh, rooted at, at j would be a heap or not so we are going to just call the heapify method again recursively but at this time uh, the uh, the subtree is rooted at j instead of uh, k here because that is uh, at the that is a child you know, child of k so this is recursively called and this terminates for sure because uh, every time we are going to a child of here uh, j is twice of this so that way it is uh, it is approaching the end fast and whenever the k becomes a leaf node uh, we just return as it is even otherwise if there is a heap property satisfied at, at any point here it doesn't uh, call recursively so it ends uh, earlier so in the worst case it takes about log n time to come out of it Let's see with an example here. Uh, so we have an unsorted array uh, to start with, a very simple one. Uh, the array representation would look like this. So this is the binary array representation uh, for this tree. Uh, so now this uh, this tree, uh, uh, we are going to uh, construct the heap out of it uh, when we are applying that bottom-up algorithm, bottom-up heap construction algorithm. We start with the last non-leaf child and try to push it down so uh, this is not satisfying the property so push it down and uh, pull up the eight uh, here so it comes up here and then the next node we are going to process is nine this is already satisfying the heap property go to the next node two now this is not satisfying the heap property so pull the nine up and two goes down here and this is still not satisfying the property and uh, six can be pulled up and two goes down here so now the heap is is done so this is uh, this is the heap uh, heap I, in, in the array it looks like this now uh, let's process the second stage of the heap sort where uh, we start with the heap and then uh, we do it for n minus 1 times in the first time we uh, look for the first and the last elements uh, or nodes of the heap swap them so that the larger here goes to the bottom here and uh, we square it that means we are basically uh, marking it as uh, the final position and exclude it from the heap so the heap size is reduced by one at this stage now only the root could be violating uh, the heap property push it down as much as possible uh, so the larger child of this is eight so eight will be will go here and then seven will come down here and uh, the heap is this is now a heap and now uh, in the second iteration take the first and swap the first and last elements 8 and 5 in this case so 8 will come to the final position now heap is reduced to size 4 uh, our, basically the unsorted array is reduced to size 4 now push 5 as low as possible uh, then it can go to uh, take the place of 7 7 will come here so now um, now my heap is of size 4 now uh, swap the first and last so 7 comes to its final position and this is uh, and push it as much as possible so 6 will take the roots place and in the next stage 6 and 5 uh, are the are the ones which needs to be swapped 6 will take go to its final position and uh, 5 is at the top this is already satisfying the property so in the last iteration 5 and 2 are going to swap so 5 will take the last position 
and this is heap already a uh, single element and we don't have to do the uh, do one more iteration for the last element uh, we will we'll be done with only n minus 1 iterations which is five iterations in this in this case and uh, this array is is essentially this which is already a sorted array now to analyze uh, how this algorithm works um, okay, it looks basically like this the both these stages unsorted array is transformed into a heap and then that is uh, that is uh, transformed into a sorted array right? that's why we call it as transform and conquer now to analyze this algorithm uh, if i go back to sorting here it has it has two stages so uh, the time complexity of this algorithm is max of uh, time complexity of the first stage and time complexity of the second stage so the first stage we already know it, it in the worst case it takes theta of uh, n time um, and uh, the second stage has uh, uh, n minus 1 iterations which is in the order of n again and uh, max key delete uh, uses essentially ep5 ep5 if you look at it uh, as we already saw uh, in the worst case it takes about log n um, log n log n steps so uh, the worst case time complexity of uh, ep5 itself is log n so that's why uh, the second stage as a whole takes uh, theta of uh, n log n time uh, that's why this is a dominating uh, stage and hence uh, the time complexity of uh, worst case time complexity of heap sort is theta of n log n uh, that's all for now thank you for watching bye